So this is my third video on Grover's algorithm. And I think that I figured out an intuitive breakdown of the algorithm. So the, the this this part here is what, what was keeping me frustrated or sort of because because the explanation, right, is like, yeah, you know, I understand the first part where we just create an equal superposition and we flag one or two or well, like the items that, that need to be found. That's sort of the oracle. But then that the, the way this is built here is just dropped in like, yeah, you know, that's the that's the way you build the um you know the 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 amplitude amplification part. And 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 so the two the two explanations given here are understandable at the mathematical level, but it's it still feels like too much of a stretch for someone to understand. Um, at the intuition level, what's happening here? And then to add to the confusion, the, the, the more you visit other pages and other articles talking about the Grover's algorithm, it's like everyone does it their own way. So I, I kind of like the, the underlying the underlying mathematical uh, analogies were the same, but they, like they, they and, and you know they just people just implement it in different ways. So they use like an ancillary qubit, for example. They they have a state preparation and then the oracle does so. So I set out to understand maybe because um, I, I realized when I was playing with that that if you take a look at this, really, um, what, what this really does is it it takes a, an equal superposition and it flags the state one 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 in this case, right? So if you extend that to multiple qubits, it's it's the same concept, but to more qubits, the same concept. So it flags the state that has it's like an end. It's a, it flags the state that has all ones. And at least the rest uh, untied. So I thought maybe it would be easier for me to understand if I use that as a building block, right? And so, because once I'm here, I can basically now flag whatever else I, I can move that minus whatever else I want, right? I mean, it's just as simple as, and I'm adding these identities here as a just just to keep the symmetry of the of the gates. Um, Keep, keep the, the, the not the symmetry, sorry, but the the sort of uh, a clean visualization. Because now I can basically add um, like an X, whatever I want, right? And and so and and now I'm going to flag the one zero one, or I'm going to flag the zero one one, or I'm going to flag the zero one zero, or so you, so you see what I'm doing, right? So basically, just um, this th this part of of the circuit is basically flying you the one 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 and then you apply as many like whatever combination of of x gates you want to flag to flag the thing so and that and that that was that was actually pretty eye-opening because then i realized that it's something kind of clicked in my mind so then i said let me just get rid of this um <clears throat> everything good so so this is this is where I am right now, and I just try to play and make an example with, and I really wanted to make an example with three qubits because the example with two qubits, um, it literally leads to a one like a, a, an outcome of the Grover, of Grover's algorithm that's like a hundred percent. So it was a bit, it's a hundred percent the item you're looking for. So it was, it felt harder to understand what was going on. So I thought, good. So that's a starting point. So we have this here, right? And and so at the end of the day, what when I, I realized that uh, that that this explanation does here is it says well basically that's pretty similar to that right so it's pretty similar to to uh, because you know you have the only thing that I'm missing here are these X's because I when I was when I was building that I realized you know these X's are not really needed they don't really make any any change in here so so what what's what's really happening? Uh, like why why it's it looks pretty similar right so I I started the case so th this is my starting point so now let's try to reproduce let's try to reproduce step by step what the what the next what the next part of the algorithm is um, because really that is truly I think the first time that I actually see an it's like an actual algorithm because everything else that's textbook based uh, the Dodge uh, user algorithm etc um, they are more just you know particular ways of encoding a function and, and that's it and and here you really have some algorithmic thought as in like first step is you flag whatever whatever you want and you can do this with another construct if you want you don't have to use the, this one but it just helps me it just really helped me sort of understand what was going on at an intuitive level because now um and i took some notes i'll i'll, I'll see if i can show them later uh, so basically 
Um, let me go back to, so basically, um, what's going on here is, so now the next step is the other hardware marts. And, and this is where it, I, where it clicked me. Because I realized that as, as you add Hara Mars and you end up with this, which I was like, it kind of makes sense, right? Because if you apply a Hara Mart um, and then you apply another Hara Mart, then you're going to go back to your to your initial state. That's that's by definition, all the gates and, and the quantum circuits are, they must be undoable. So why why so in and here really we have this pattern right so you have you have the hadamards here then something's going in the middle and then you have another like hadamards here so why aren't in you know those are if you think of those as in hadamards that are undoing and doing those here um why is it not that they come back to zero completely well because in the middle we've add some negativity so we've add some we flip some of the phases so this means that when we are applying the Hadamards again, it's not going to go back to zero, but it's almost going to go back to zero because we flagged one item. So I'm guessing, and this is really an intuition thought, um, uh, thought at the, at the intuition level, if we would be flagging more items, right, then the um, then then the the, uh, the the these probabilities will be will be would be higher. So the, these guys here. These probabilities here would would just would just be be higher. That is why um, when you want to generalize Gerber's algorithm to find more than one flagged element, you have to do a bit more iterations to kind of lower those down. But let's this is not the scope of, of, of this video. So so this is good. So this is the first step. Understood. And and this is kind of what I uh, what I wrote in here. So an equal superposition with all positive amplitudes goes always back to zero, 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 right? Um, and an equal superposition with one amplitude negative will never go back to the original state, zero, 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 but almost. So now, and and, our, and, 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 and so this is, the, this is now Grover's trick um, without the mass. So I'm going to try to explain that without the mass because that's exactly what I wanted to I wanted to build an explanation of the algorithm that didn't require you to understand any of the maths behind it or have any weird abstract um, geometrical explanation. So what's happened? What, what now? The the idea here is how can we go back? So pay attention that the, we have here, we have some now we have some negative states because one of the, one of the important things from from one of the important concepts of quantum mechanics is that as we manipulate the 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 the, the qubits the the information we the states we're going through they are not just they are remembered right so the 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 certainty and uncertainty information is preserved so the, this this particular configuration here is what will allow us to say if now i would if now i would apply the hardmarts again right it would just go back to whatever i had before so that state flagged good so so this makes sense right so that's that's and and so this when you when we are playing hard marts you know the 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 negative amplitude that we had before it just doesn't disappear it gets spread across the uncertainty exactly that's maybe a better way to put it so and i'm taking i'm taking that slow i'll make a two minute video to summarize that but the idea is you know you have that here so you cannot lose this right um so while while you're at now the Hadamards, then basically this is split and spread. So you have that good. So now what you want to what you want to do is at, uh, your goal is to kind of um, you you want to create um, so you want to end up with this this probability being in in the zero one zero because it's the state that we originally flagged, right? But in order to do so, you must create some kind of unbalance. Like, you must unbalance. You must introduce more negativity or switch positive. Let me put it this way: you have to switch positive and uh, positive amplitudes for negative amplitudes because um, you wanna. Otherwise, whenever you will be coming back and undoing your steps, you will always end up with the same state that you had here, where you had an equal superposition. So. And and here's where you, you gotta stretch your mind a bit because you know that's like how you come up with that. It's a bit, you know, 
I don't know, right? But um, that's the explanation um, in hindsight, so to say, um, without me having come up with the algorithm. But the, so if, if you now basically, um, we have, so we have a construct here that flags us one, 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 right? So if you apply this, right, we're flagging one, one, one. So literally, what do, like if, if you think about it, this is actually doing what we want. It's switching one portion of positive amplitude to a negative amplitude, because before, um, because before applying before applying these, right, we just have like an equal superposition. So how can we how can we use this to our advantage? And this is where the trick comes in. So basically. Um, if I move this one here, if, if I manage to move this amplitude to be here, right? So I apply x, 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 because it's, I want to move the 0, 0, 0 to the 1, 1, 1, right? So I apply x, x, x. So and now, and now this is what this would, so now everything else is the same because what, you know, the x's are doing is they're just flipping the beats and because we have a superposition where you know, all the all the answers are still possible. Um, um, at the end of the day, that doesn't that doesn't change uh, doesn't change uh, anything. So we, we've done this here, and now, and now we can apply. Now we can flag that. We know how to flag that, right? So we say, we apply a Hadamard here. We apply a Toffoli gate here, and we apply another Hadamard here, and voila. So look, pay attention that the 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 rest of the information stayed the same. What we just did is we just flipped. So we just flip the phase, uh, we flip the amplitude of the state one, one, one. So we have basically exchanged positive amplitude by uh, for negative amplitude. So, and now it's about, and, and, and now we, we are ready to undo. So the hope and the hope of the trick is that as we undo, we're gonna go back. So the, the, we're gonna go kind of back to, to, to that state where we were here, but so, now let me undo so now i'm undoing i'm going back to and i'm going to add again identities here just to keep the circuit a bit more readable because i like to understand kind of each column as a you know one operation at the same time through the different qubits right so and then now when we have this here just exactly so now we've undone this and then we've we kind of put back that amplitude to zero 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 where we had it but it's now negative because we flipped it um and so the next step, the next undoing step would be to apply the Hanamards, which originally it would have, again, balanced out everything and, and brought us up to the equal superposition. But because we have basically now added negative um, amplitude, this is not, it's, it's not going to happen. So um, never, nevertheless, this is going to go, um, it, it, it's, it's still going to, to undo in the sense that it's going to go to the state where um, where the one oh, the zero one zero was flagged exactly. Let me see this exactly. And Pam. And so you have now, but pay attention that it's now everything negative, right? So the the thing here is because we've added this extra, we, we flipped this. Um, when we when when we undo the steps, um, we we basically come back to where we were. But in in if if we hadn't, so if we didn't do this part in the middle, sorry, uh, I flagged the wrong things. If we didn't do this, which is the flagging the one, right? So if we didn't do this, um, basically the, so let's see if I can use another color. Maybe the blue will actually be a good one. So he, all these, all these bars would be filled up blue, so to say, right? But with, with, flip that into 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 the into minus so it they they all went um and they all stayed with uh within this one because because in the in the original uh configuration we had that flagged as minus 
I might not be, you know, this might not be 100% accurate and I might be missing probably some of the um, nuances, but it, it, it seems to be an intuitive enough explanation of what's going 